My name is Brian Pillman Jr. and you're watching Dre41 Gaming. Now I'm a little partial to this gaming channel because 41 is my magic number. It was my number in football and it was my father's football number. So you can bet that Brian Pillman Jr. is going to be tuning in to Dre41 Gaming only on YouTube. So enough talking about it, it's time to be about it. Let's go. We are playing ECW Anarchy Rules. And yes, this is still Hardcore Heaven. This is the three-way match that I did talk to you guys about. And I promised that we are going to have this match. Now, I'm not even going to lie. I'm, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. It took me maybe 45 minutes. <laughs> not even playing. 45 minutes. To get this going and making it work for whatever reason my playstation 2 was just bugging out um the commentary would go out it, initially the plan was was to have the game um do the commentary because i just like the commentary in this game but it's fine it didn't work um it would stop just all of the sudden and sometimes the match would take too long and I'm just like, dog, ain't nobody sitting here watching some long ass PlayStation 1 match from an ECW game that most people don't like. I love how you just walk through the fire. I love in this game how the entrances were so fraudulent from what you actually see on TV. Number one, there was no pyro in ECW. They didn't have a flame budget. Let's just put it out there. Um, yeah, it, he did not have pyro. Super crazy did not have Pyro. That's just a fact. He did not have Pyro. But regardless, it's going to be a three-way dance. So, you know, this ECW. So, it's going to be a three-way elimination match. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, I wanted to put at least one match from Anarchy Rules in here. And, and feel me, like, my whole thought process with it was just, like, you know, switching it up a bit, giving you something special. Now, initially, I wanted it to be right before the main event, but, eh, it is what it is. I ain't sweating it. You know what I'm saying? The main event was iffy, and uh, I don't know if I wanted to end with that one. So, this one is going to be the main event here, and I think this match is going to be pretty damn good, to be completely honest with you. Um, but, yeah, you know, I, I don't know. It, it, my thing is, I just enjoy this game. This game, to me, still looks good. It has that... ECW low quality, low budget kind of game, and I enjoy that. I don't know, it's, it's something about it like this and attitude. Like, I don't know. Some people like ECW Hardcore Revolution better. I don't. I don't know. For, the, for some reason, I don't like that game as much as Anarchy Rules. And I think it's just because it's more, Anarchy Rules is more of an ECW game than Hardcore Revolution. 
Hardcore Revolution was just ECW painted on a WWF game. That's all it was. This one, I think, even though they made it in like 11 months, it's more of an ECW game. But regardless of that, we're going to have this three-way contest. And right now, Irish Whip, good reversal. Look at that. Back in 2000, you can reverse an Irish Whip. Who, like, people can sit there and say whatever they want about this game. They can sit there and say whatever they want. But this game has features in a wrestling game that current wrestling games do not have. So I'm not even trying to hear none of that, man. Like, they got rest holds. And, like, when was the last time we had rest holds in the wrestling game? That makes complete sense to have. I mean, the, the thing I feel like is missing out of wrestling games is, quite simply, um, the psychology. Psychology of a wrestling game where heels will do like dirty moves that make actual sense and rest holds to slow down the pace of the match. That's it's something that that I feel like is perfect. I truly do. But regardless, boom, big hit right to the side of the head, and, and the way that they punch each other in this game is amazing. Big head scissors by Lil Guido. Guido going for a kick to the gut, punch to the face by Tajiri, chap with his arm drag. Here we go. Collar and elbow tie up. What are you going to do? Knee to the gut. Roundhouse kick. Damn. Two roundhouse kicks to the back of the head. Going for the penitent referee for. Oh, he kicked. See, that was another thing, yo. If you kick him, that always interrupts the penitent. Big or Karana there. Going for the. Wow. Super crazy. Still in the pin here. Going for it in just a two count. Lil Guido able to kick out. Big punch right to the eye. Maybe a poke. I, I, wanna, I feel like that was a poke to the eye. Ooh, an uppercut right to the right to the groin area. And that's the thing, yo. If you were too close, yo, you would always get like a low blow punch to the eye. Something like that. Oh, wait a minute. He cradled it all just a two count. Alright now. Wait a minute. What's this? Picks him up. Big suplex. And uh to Jerry's finisher in this game, surprisingly enough, is a brain buster. It's not the buzzsaw kick, it's not a a poison mist. Yes, it is a brain buster. And right now he's going nuts right now. Look at Super Crazy. You can't believe it right now. <laughs> he's going nuts. <laughs> but regardless, when he gets out of that one, Japanese arm drag by Tajiri. Now head scissors by Little Guido. Super Crazy trying to get into this. Fujiwara for his trouble. And now big punch right to the head. Wait a minute. DDT. Big DDT. And then look at Super Crazy in his Christmas colors. There you go. It all, it all makes sense. It all makes sense. Japanese arm drag again by Tajiri. Go behind. What's this? And two roll up. One for the pen. Referee for the count. Two and three. Damn, got him up out of here with a victory roll. And now it's only Tajiri. He's super crazy. Go behind. Toes him. Not even a wrestling move. Just threw him. Poor Karana reversed into a power bomb. And punched to, to the corn area. And see, like you, if you stay too close, it'll just be back and forth doing that. Just knocking each other down. Oh, you being cheap. You being cheap. Is this what we're doing out in these streets? All right, now 2.2. Did Jerry able to kick out big body slam? Got right back up. Another body slam. Got right up. Knee right to the head. Oh, punch right to the groin. Oh, big roundhouse to the face. Oh, big dodge. Go behind. Full Nelson trying to get the submission. Don't think he's going to be able to do it. Oh, big right. Let me big left hand. Now what's this? Oh, for first the suplex. There we go. Or Karana, there we go, able to hit that off. To Jerry, no sell, go behind. Into an atomic drop, big move. And now what's he gonna do? Super kick right to the face. And uh, Super Crazy is busted over right now. He is hurting. He is feeling it right now. Punch, oh, both of them try to go for a punch. Big kick toss, big knee. Oh, you're going for a pin off the knee. Wow, that's what we doing out in these streets. Tajiri is so cheap, but nonetheless able to get the victory here tonight in the main event at uh, ECW, Hardcore Heaven. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new. I think this is going to be something that I'm going to do on a regular basis. I might throw in an Anarchy Rules match, depending because the roster in this game. But other than that, yo, y'all stay safe. Catch y'all on the next video of ECW Anarchy. Ah, universe mode. Later. <laughs>